Ann B. McClatchy hails from Daytona Beach, Florida. She's reading next. She's going to read her poem from Smartish Pace, which will also appear in her forthcoming book, Songs of the Immortals, and it's scheduled for publication this spring. Ann B. McClatchy. Just a little bit of background. The two poems, I'm actually going to read two poems um, that I'm going to read to you, one from Smarge Pace. And uh, both of these poems will be um, coming out in um, the collection in the spring uh, with Finishing Line Press. And the collection is called uh, Songs of the Immortals. And this is a book that gives a voice to the parents of a child who has been kidnapped and murdered. The first film. What the neighbors heard. Nothing. Nothing at all. And distant cries, apparently, are not the things we hear, but call out in our sleep. A sudden fear or reckoning that sits us up in bed Waking, slowly waking, and then the shaking, and then the sober lying down again. It's what your father does so many nights, a ritual cry, as if to call you home, or as if to say, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Tender reunions, or a gradual dying. The pacing around your room, his morning dance, his search for answers or grace. How could no one have heard you call our names? And then the invocation from his knees, the terrible refrain that always shakes him, the simple word, please, a neighbor heard, but did not stop. Entreaty or your supplication to a deaf god? Your effort to appease? Or perhaps it wasn't words, but the shivering of limbs shedding their leaves. Can nature sympathize or only echo how we call, tremble, breathe? Please, the blades of grass, rows of hedges, swaying trees must have uttered to a universe of passers-by. Please, to a pantheon of gods, also bowed, also recasted, as if to mirror your appeal, or worse, perhaps, as if to see past it. Catharsis. A portly man on TV says he's eating jelly donuts since his doctor recommended more fruit. My head tucked beneath your chin, I feel you grin. A welcome joke, what Aristotle called catharsis, the comedy channel in bed. A piecemeal purging meant to clear our minds, a chance to graft like patchwork the wreckage of our lives onto a campy figure. Cheer for him. Love him for dancing when the gods single him out, pile on their twisted trials. As if for a few moments we are watching someone else's life unfold. Pizza and beer, you my armchair, tucked in our sheets. As if for a few moments we have climbed up from some well to lounge on sun-baked stones, take in the Dionysian mysteries. Lore of the vine, seasons, grapes, wine, nothing ever truly dying, and us tender initiates laughing so hard we're crying. 